What's the magic word? Fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics. That's good. We got a project today, right? A slide. Yeah, we need to build a, uh, a, slide. a slide. It's and a water slide. They gave us a list of materials. And if we want to go the extra mile, we can make it a water slide. Mm -hmm. And then they gave us the examples, right? And then you oh, said the magic war was fluid dynamics, didn't you? Yeah, and there's only three examples. Yeah, there's three examples, and we'll try to use them as a, t as a baseline template. What are we going to use these for? We'll find that out in a minute. But do you know what fluid dynamics are? No. No? Well, fluid dynamics is a branch of mathematics and physics concerned with the description and study of the flow of liquids and gases. And so by building a, a slide, uh, preferably a water slide, we're going to learn a little bit about liquid flow and we'll be able to study it. Now, preemptively, we thought it was a good idea to go ahead and do a little bit of research, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we sat down I know. and we drew yes. out what a typical water slide might, uh, might, how it might be functionally put together, right? Yeah. But there's, there's a collection pool, which we're going to use this container as a collection pool. Yeah that water goes into, right? Uh, when it goes down the slide. And then that water is fed through a pump so it can, uh, so it can be, uh, it can create water pressure. Uh, and then it's filtered because let's just be honest, sometimes kids, maybe even adults, might relieve themselves in a, bottle, in a body of water. So that water is filtered and then it's forced through pressure back up to the top of the slide and then back down the tube. What? And then a kid can climb all the way up here and go down this, this water slide, right? Yeah. And so we did a little bit of research concerning this. One, we looked up water flow, which refers to the amount Men's of water. Can't go down the slides. Who can? Men's. They yeah. don't go out down water slides. They get wet, but they usually go down Oh, that's interesting. Uh, well, I mean, maybe they can. Who knows? But yeah. what did we learn about water flow? Water flow refers to the amount of water coming out of a hose or a faucet or pipes or fixtures over a certain amount of time. Uh, you or sinks. Yeah, sinks. Sinks that's, have water? They do. And it's typically, uh, you might find the typical measurement to be liters per second, so I wrote it out here. As a matter of fact, we're going to test this out, water flow, and time it with a 355 milliliter can, empty soda can. Yeah, when we build our slide. Yeah, and then as mentioned, uh, you know, sometimes water is fed through a pump, right? Now, we don't have a uh, electrical or mechanical pump My to teacher. use. My teacher talked about the pump. She did? Yeah. That's good. The, well, we don't have one to use in this instance, unfortunately. So we're just going to use... Uh, long in the past. Yeah, we're going to regulate how much the... regulate the water itself with the can in our hand movement. But uh, a pump is designed to create water pressure, which refers to the amount of force that is put on the water to make it move from one place to another. And that's typically measured in bar. You know, water pressure, even throughout your house, it can vary from room to room, and it can, and it can vary due, due to other uh, external inf uh, influences, too. Did you know that? Yeah. And not every house has the same water pressure, either. No. No, not at all. So, let's, um, let's put this together. What do you think? You want to try building a slide? Oh no, he also fell, fell playing at school and uh, he got a little bubble on your head too, huh? Yeah. But that's fine. See, all those things heal, right? Yeah. Yeah. They fill up. They sure do. Are you ready to build your slide? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Let's build.
So we made, hopefully, a, a slide. yeah, hopefully a pretty solid water slide. And we had a, had a, some spins and some toys. Yeah, some Legos, right? Yeah. We essentially mm-hmm. taken these Legos and turned them into our base. Yeah, Excuse and you, we, Ollie. And we got a lot. Didn't that have a mess slide? Yeah, and then we used the spoons and forks to make uh, girders, pretty much, to help support uh, our material here, our aluminum that we're using to, to be function as the slide itself, right? And then we stuck a Lego up there, <laughs> and then we filled an empty soda can with approximately 355 milliliters of water, right? And so going back to what we were studying, what was the magic word again? What, Ian, you don't lick the can, you silly goose. Yeah. What was the magic word again, Ian? Fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics, that's right. And we learned about water flow and water pressure. Well, by us filling up this water in a can, we're going to try to regulate or simulate water pressure. How? Uh, Water flow and water pressure. How? We got a little Lego block up here, and I'm going to pour this out. Uh, and hopefully it has enough force or there's enough water flow uh, and enough force to allow this to slide down, right? Yeah! So we'll simulate water pressure. Hopefully the pressure is great enough that the water uh, coming out is able to go down the slide and, and, um, and move that all the way down into our collection point. Yeah. Are you ready to test this? Yeah! Yeah, yeah you think we're going to make a huge mess? Yeah. Yeah, we probably are. Oh, and... One last piece, because water flow is the amount of water over time, we're going to also time how long it takes for this water to pull out. So Ian, can you operate this uh, this watch? When I tell you to, can you press that button one time? All right. Uh, Ian, go ahead and press that button one time. Ah, come on. Come on, there it goes. So about right there, and we're keeping the same, trying to keep this, this stream going at the same rate. Ah, the tape. Yeah. It seemed to work, stop it. That was about 21 seconds. Sorry, I should have told you that you'll have to stop it as well. 21 seconds, we'll call it 21. Uh, we'll keep it round, and we'll keep the other number fairly round at 355 milliliters. Yeah. Did all the water make it in there or some get on the table? There's no water in that one. I can see hey, water. did any water get on the table, bud? Yeah, it kinda get on the table. Yeah, we'll have to clean that up. Alright, um, let's see let's see what our water flow measured out to. So we had three hundred and fifty five milliliters, right? Over yeah. twenty one seconds, right? And then through some uh, simple math, um, simple algebra. We determined that over that 355, uh, for 21 seconds, we had approximately 9, 16.9 milliliters per second. And so we'll just round it up and we'll say it, that our flow rate was 17 milliliters per second. Does that sound, or our water flow, does that sound about right to you, Ian? Yeah. Yeah, was this a fun project? Yeah, I think it's time we uh, clean this one up a bit. What do you think? Okay. Give everybody a thumbs up. Say, see you later. Yeah, say, see you later. See you later.